You smell that? Yeah. You know what that is? Fish. It smells like New York City today. I love it. It's rainy, it's like 50 degrees. That's what I live for. Okay, back to Long Island today. I gotta fuel up. So, my mom got a job, and she got a place to live, and all the things, it's incredible. So we're gonna go to, back to Ikea, and get a few things that she needs to furnish her new home, and I'm gonna spend the day tinkering on Ikea furniture. Okay, back at Ikea. We don't have to do the full excursion of going through the whole store. They already have everything picked out. We just have to get it and load it in the car. So I'm waiting in the car until they get back so I can help them load everything. The only real downside to this weather is that I just want to nap. Like, just, just a good nap is what I want to do. And I can't. I don't have time for that. So I need to drink some more coffee. <laughs> a little full. So Danielle always tells me that I'm somewhat of an expert whenever it comes to IKEA furniture. I guess that's true, but I wanted to share with you my expertise and my secret, my secret to building IKEA furniture. And the trick is you have to buy the IKEA tools and I'll show you how to use them. I'm going to put together this chair really quick and uh, it's going to be really easy. It's one simple step, that's all, and then your chair's done. So here we go. All right, that's it. Uh, Ikea tools, Ikea chair, and you're done. Or you can just build stuff the hard way and read the instructions, it's up to you. So you can do it that way, or you can do it my way. It's up to you. You really work up an appetite building IKEA furniture, so I'm gonna go grab us some lunch. The good thing about being in suburbia is that you get all of the chain restaurant goodness that you can't really get that easily in New York. I will drive straight past a Chipotle to get to a Moe's. You can fight me if you want to, but that's the truth. This place is so good. It just... I wish you could smell that. It smells so good. Got the burritos. Got a couple, uh, couple Joey bag of donuts. Tasty stuff. Some kid, some like little, like ten year old kid, just tried to open my door and get in my car, thinking it was his car. Scared the crap out of me. I think it freaked him out too, cause I, I yelled. I didn't know what was going on. I was like, hey, and he's like, ah, and then ran away. <laughs> um, but yeah, little, little scary so I'm gonna go eat my burrito now so my mom and Danielle went to go buy some stuff from the store I am going to edit in this awesome new chair which is extremely comfortable that also means that this editing may end up turning into a nap at some point I cannot confirm or deny that we'll just have to see what happens so it turned out to be a really oh my lens is dirty so it turned out to be a really beautiful day today and I'm excited that my mom gets to live in this really nice neighborhood it's really close to the water. There's like a music festival going on downtown. I may go check that out if I have some time, but we're wrapping up some stuff here, so we'll see how that goes. That bird is really mad about something. back in Brooklyn. Um, I gotta practice a little bit of bass guitar tonight because we're doing the Bowery in the morning. 
so I gotta get ready for that. Other than that, pretty much done. It's been a good day. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.